It is always a pleasure bringing your entertainment here or enjoy news today in our stories. Talented musician Kitty has expressed his gratitude to Ghanaians for the love and support they've shown him since the release of his hit song, Odo Speaking. To join us, the musician also spoke about how he landed collaboration with Nigerian musician Devido on the remix of his song. See me, I no get that billion, but I got so much love to give you. I got so much love to give you. I mean, when you make song, you expect people to like it, but you can never predict how much they'll like it. So, I mean, I'm grateful. I did a song, I did my best, but Ghanaians accepted it, and I'm grateful. And even Nigerians accepted it. How is the collaboration that the remix doing with Davido? It's already out. Amazing. Now, I get Nigerians sitting me up and telling me how amazing the song is. People from Liberia, Sierra Leone, Uganda, like, it's spreading all over Africa like a virus. And I'm, I mean, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm grateful. Obviously, you're grateful for Odor, you know, making waves but do you have anything up yourself i mean are you still doing stuff because every i mean a studio 24 7 you guys are not ready for what's coming next i mean i'm going to be here for a long time so be prepared for kitty I started with Mayor Kuni was in Ghana, so he hit me up like, you know, he's enjoying the song and he wants to be on a remix. It was initially just me and Mayor Kuni. So the next morning I got a call saying, Davido also wants to be on it. I'm like, why not? He's the, one of the biggest artists in Africa. So to have him jump on my song, is an honor. So, I mean, it just happened. Boom, boom, boom. So you went to Nigeria? I went to Nigeria, yeah, to shoot the video. Um, I'm going back this week. We have to shoot more scenes, so, yeah. Okay, we wish you all the best, Kitty. Many, many girls, them try to come my way. Away from Kitty, Justin Timberlake is to headline next year's Super Bowl halftime show 14 years after his role in Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction. Now, the U.S. pop star revealed the news on his Twitter feed with a little help from talk show host Jimmy Fowler. Do have the time. You do have time? I do have time. You do have time? I do have time. You do have time? I do have time. You're doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl? You do have time! And this will, of course, be JT's third time at the big show. And a lot of people are already speculating that he'll bring in sync out. But folks are also wondering, 14 years after that infamous incident, could Janet Jackson rejoin Justin at the Super Bowl? Well, a source close to Janet tells ET that Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, has not been approached by JT or his team, but she's open to it. Quote, if Justin or his team did reach out, Janet would perform with him again in a minute. An NFL spokesperson told us it doesn't comment on speculation, but quote, there's no ban. Super Bowl 52 will be the site of a Justin and Janet reunion remains to be seen, but JT made it clear what we won't see. At any point in the ask, do they say, hey, just the last time there's a little wardrobe thing, can we make sure that doesn't happen? And as long as we're good with yeah, that, then, you're, yeah, then we're good with yeah, you? Yeah, that, that, that won't happen this okay. time. <laughs> there was a little bit of that, but, uh, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, no, Mike, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Now, Nollywood actor Jim Ike has revealed why his relationship with actress Rita Dominic crashed. Jim Ike made this revelation in an exclusive interview with Broadway TV. I met when um, I was just beginning to embrace fame. I was beginning to embrace the comforts that came with it. The, the laurels, the distraction, even the destruction. And Rita is not the kind of woman that hangs around for growth. We were very deep with each other. We still have great friends till tomorrow. We don't speak constantly. Matter of fact, you'll be shocked to understand that I haven't spoken to Rita in over two years. You know, but when we meet, we're cordial, we're respectful. There's, there's that deep rooted thing of a man you share something with and a woman you share something with. Rita is is that kind of woman that I don't think Rita at that point too was looking at longevity. Truthfully, I was, don't forget I was a kid with the crazy afro, 
ready to start a fight anywhere. My life was consecrated around just having a good time and, you know, and as many conquests as possible. Who wants that kind of guy? You know? So, this question is futuristic in a sense. Fast forward, perhaps five, ten years from now, I mean, where we are at the moment, that question might have had depth, understanding, and who water. But then, I mean, what was there to hold on to? Seriously. Are you going to, I mean, I was partying like a crazy person. I was, you know, she tried to, you know, show me another life and say, listen, there's so much more in you than what you exhibit. That'll be all for entertainment here on Joy News today. My name is Becky.